Welcome to the EGCTV 2023 Grand Finals. This is third match of the best of nine between Portix and Beastie. Oh, Portix playing as the Rus, Beastie playing as a Chinese, a map that he he played before against Lucifron, and he demonstrated how he good he was playing the Chinese. Let's see what he has to show us in this map. Now remember, you're playing against the Rus, arguably one of the best civilizations in the water. Like, if you don't know about it, the Rus can create those fishing ships. I'm gonna show you in a moment. So you create those fishing ships and they cost more, but they can tra transform themselves into whatever kind of boat like you want if you pay the difference. But the thing is, they don't need to come back to the dock, so it means if your opponent denies the docks, destroys this dock, your fishing ships are just gonna fish forever. And that's such a strong uh, ability to have in this map where fish is so important. You have 4,000 foot in each lake and, you know, it's deep water fish. So, when I see players fighting with in water here, I'll be see, gonna be uh, in a little bit of a risky position for his dog. He's pretty far away from from his base. Can be easily deniable for his opponent. I mean, you may not think it's a big deal, but if you walk just a little bit less, you it may be those seconds that you need to take down the enemy ships. And when it comes to to that Chinese. Uh, they're actually pretty good with water too. Well, let's see if they have anything special. Actually not nothing special. Nothing nothing special. It's pretty much the same here. By the way if you're thinking about getting into Age of Empires 4 and you know, want to play the game and you know you're not really sure if it's a good game or not. I can assure you it's a great game. Like, I haven't been into games for many years. And this one got my attention. And it's such a masterpiece. And now it's the best time to play. You got a new DLC already with four, six new civilizations. The balance is great. The community is great. And the tournaments, like the one EGCTV is hosting now, they are always bring the best matches possible. By the way, if you, if you enjoyed this video, forget to give a like, subscribe to watch more Age of Empires content. I have casted games every every single day for you. I see a sneaky villager. Uh -huh. do, do, do you hear the crickets? Now this game has a beautiful sound design. Beautiful sound design. Now you see that Kremlin. No. Very defensive position. Uh, it's gonna protect the deer here. It's gonna protect the gold. Uh, this is very defensive play coming for Boratix. Uh, strangely enough, look at those sheep. 10 sheep here. How about Beastie? Beastie, where is your sheep? Where's Beastie's castle? There you go. 8. Not, not a bad number. Not a disprop... Uh, not a terrible number. We usually see uh, in the... In, so in this tournament, some, sometimes we have seen like 12 ships for the for the opponent and for the other opponent it's like only two. It's like, oh my god. It's terrible. The beastie building that sneaky wall here just to make sure his opponent doesn't build any kind of dock. If Bortix will try to do the same here. Now, this is a very red defensive primarily. Imperial Academy going up for Beastie with four villagers. Now, the Chinese can get really scary when they have the water economy. But that's a lot of sheep in water, so like nine already. Uh, if you think about it, 
they have the advantage just because they have the Imperial official. So they have... Uh, it's like 20% extra? Yeah, 20... 20% extra resources for each resource that you get here. So... They're just gonna have the advantage when it when it comes to to gathering wood. You're just gonna have much more much more economy in the long run. See those sheep here already. Look at that. They just fish here, and then after it reaches the mount, it doesn't need to come back. Two, one, go. And there you go. One of the best pigeon ships in the game. Oh, we see double products going on for Vortex. Uh, it's gonna be heavy on wood here. Just to get those fishing ships. He needs that upgrade. No economic upgrades yet for Beastie. Looks like probably he will go for a Song Dynasty first. Now we see the first knight going for Vortex. Looks like he will be able to sneak into the base. The Spearman, not in the right position, almost gets a villager kill. Forces Beasties to stop working for a while and damage his economy. Like, it's not gonna be Song Dynasty yet for Beastie. He's gonna opt for go for that economic upgrade. And look at that, BC already putting a ship here, but the fish has already been converted into a Lodja Galley. And this one probably will be converted too, as soon as he has the resources. Scout slow but steady taking down this dock. Now this is a problem when you don't put your walls here, your opponent can do something like this. But looks like Vortex will be already fishing into Beasties late. Now in, in, in a few moments, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of action going on here. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, the demo ship, will he be able to get a shot? He doesn't. The demo ship dies without getting any kind of value. Now, these are quite expensive. 80 wood, 80 gold. So, you really want to take advantage of those. He was a little bit greedy when putting the demo ship here. The, his opponent was really far from him. He was hoping he don't have eyes on this part of the map, but Vortex having eyes everywhere. He's already putting another duck here, forcing his opponent to stop his fishing economy for a moment just because he's trading those fishing ships into, into the Lodia Galleys. Let's check out Beastie's base. Is he doing a nice wood economy? It's pretty much the same as, as Vortex. No walls coming from Beastie here. I told you before, he's a really good player when it comes to walling. Uh, he can wall. I I'm sure he will wall like this. Uh, compared to his opponent, he, uh, Vortex is a player that doesn't like to, to wall much. He's very aggressive. He only believes uh, violence is the, the key to solve things for everything and walls will only delay his actions. So he's a, he's a guy of... I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go full military. We are, I don't think I have seen any walls coming from Vortex in this tournament. I can't recall. I may be wrong. Most likely I'm wrong, but... This is a guy that doesn't like to wall at all. Now the demo ship going here, but at the same time... 
Vortex aging up with a high trade house. I have a juicy spot here. That's a lot of trees. Is he gonna be careful not to lose his demo ship? Where those things are really fast. Looks like it will get contact here. And indeed, it does get contact. And looks like this dog it will get denied for the moment. That demo ship is coming out here. Well, Spearman trying to be annoying here. Our fishing ship's going for this side of the map. BC looks like he's gonna lose a villager. He managed to save him just by an inch. That was close. Castle H goes for Vortex, meanwhile Beastie gonna put the Barbican here, protecting those two gold resources he has in his base. Actually, I didn't talk about the spawns here. This is a pretty good spawn compared to the last match Beastie had. This is a pretty damn good spawn. Rescue his opponent. Actually, it's pretty good. Two gold in the back. Oh, he's rushing the bar began. He knows his opponent will come soon. I guess those knights are coming. There you go. Early knights and soon you will have the better and see for those knights. He's still gonna be soon in castle. And remember, he can age up really fast. Chinese built really fast. I can assure you. I live in China. And this guy's built really, really fast. This is historically accurate. It's not only historically accurate. It's, on, it's like... Just accurate, <laughs> like in the present, in the past, most likely in the future will be the same. Now oh, Beastie, aging up, it's gonna be the Imperial Palace, gonna get that nice vision here. Or it's gonna be able to get two villagers here. Nice catch by Vortex. And looks like this lake is gonna remain uncontested for Beastie for the time being. Ah, gotta get a glass of water. This cats in this game can be really tiring some sometimes. That's what you gotta what you gotta do for the things you love. New age begins for Beastie. Look at the vision for this Imperial Palace. It's crazy. And he he has he, uh, did he use the ability? He he did use the ability. He he knows where where he is. Look at this cheeky spearman. Look at that. The vortex gonna react on time. Oh my god. No wheelbarrow for vortex yet. I'm gonna be careful with that. Does he has textiles? No textiles yet. Bravo Beastie, I already got the textiles. The villagers are gonna get a little bit tankier. Looks like this part of the map. It's gonna get for Vortex, but Beastie should be very good sitting with two lakes already. That's 8,000 foot. Now that's a lot of gold. Now this is where it starts becoming a little bit creepy for China. Just because you get a lot of income, ex extra income, you get more villagers and the longer the game goes, the more scary China gets, just because they have such a good economy advantage. Vortex are already sitting with one relic, one more to go home. Those two relics look like it. they're gonna be in Vortex favor. Let's see if BC managed to get one of those relics. This one, unfortunately, I don't think the priest is gonna get it. It's in the range of the barbie gun. Actually, I think he tried to get it, but <laughs> that's why it's here. Well, 
Military numbers starting to go up for BC. This is just gonna be the Spearman. It's gonna be full Spearman crossbow. Whereas Bortis is gonna go Knight Archer composition. More raids coming in the back of Beastie's base. Oh, but Beastie managed to get those two relics at the same time. Beautiful move. Looks like the army is not really caring about those. Those shenanigans here. It's like, oh, it's just a. Uh, let the, let the priest deal with himself. They don't pay me enough. A wheelbarrow just came up for Boritix. All this time, playing with a wheelbarrow gives you a lot of disadvantage when it comes to the economy. Like, luckily for him, the Rus has a lot of passive income, has a high trade house, 70. Wow, that's that's a lot of trees. 73 keys, trees here. Sprinkles. Gonna go out for Beastie. Gonna be able to deal with those fishing boats quite easy. Looks like the Spearman will need to retreat. There is no unit here to deal with the archers. Looks like he's gonna start mixing some palace guards into the mix to tank some damage. And Vortex did lose the knights that he had in the front line and now these archers won't have any front line to protect them but bc just decides he's not gonna engage here oh look what oh, look what's coming here it's gonna be the nest of peace and if there's something that can take down all these archers in a matter of seconds it's a couple of good shots from a nest of peace one of the coolest units from China. And look at that. Ortix, knowing that his opponent has Springles, he decides, I'm just gonna fish here and I don't need to return. And Nest of Beast managed to get one shot. Look at look at how much damage it has done. Beastie already putting a keep here on the big gold vein. Protecting a big gold vein and also stone. Night numbers going up for Boratix, but unfortunately not enough to deal with this mass. More eco upgrades going up for Beastie. Like he will start moving with his army here. Warlord Monk gonna get detected. Like the secret side will go for Beastie. Now the skip will go up. Securing this side of the map. BC has a scout here. Uh, he don't. He's just, you know, have a lot of faith. He has a lot of faith at, the, at this point. Two so sprinkles are ready for Vortex. That should be enough to deal with this nest of peace. And BC noticed that and he decides to retreat. You don't want to lose the nest of peace here. Was to more Springles himself. It looks like this Springles gonna do a nice job dealing with those fishing ships. Will we see BC going into farm transition at any point in this game? It will be very hard. Looks like he will decide to go fight for the water here. He knows you cannot deal with those Springles. It's gonna be really hard. Last Springles manage to get the Springles down. It looks like the Spearman will go down and the Knights will be free to take down those crossbow mass. And it's gonna get surrounded here. It looks like Beastie will, will lose a, a good chunk of his military numbers, but he's still looking pretty good when it comes to the military. Is he trying to send units any at any part of of the map just to cause his opponent to react? And maybe 
you know that's that's one thing that bc and a lot of good players do is they, they just send units and they don't even look at them it's like i'm just gonna cause some damage and i'm gonna attack on multiple fronts at the same time forcing you to look at a lot of things at once and hopefully hopefully you won't realize where is the important thing beasting travel in this side of the map a dog goes up two dogs goes up for vortex looks like beast is gonna lose this side this side of the lake leaving him with one and another one that hasn't been contested yet but it's only two ships here unfortunately not enough ships looks like he's uh looks like he's letting uh, those fishes those fishes die already wonder if we will see a farm transition at any point in this game it is or nest of bees you know what can also take a sprinkle besides another sprinkle it's another nest of bees they do quite a good damage against those Oh, that's a lot of sprinkles, it's just five of them. It looks like Beastie will lose the water on two points already. This one only has two ships, so it's not, it's not such a big of, of the economy here. This one remains uncontested. It's not gonna be long until Vortex goes here. I mean, the Rus, Rus, the Rus, such a strong civilization when it comes to the water, and in bit. It's gonna be the High Armory, going for Imperial Age with 18 villagers. Beastie saving a lot of gold. Now, when it comes to siege. This guy is also known as Siege QT. You know why? He loves Siege. He plays really good with Siege and he likes to masses like have like stupid amounts of Siege in his army composition. Like usually you will see like one or two mangonels. You will see five mangonels from this guy. Just because it's like You know it's Siege is so effective. But it's just so risky it's because if you build siege and you don't use them or your your opponent like you if you get bad shots or, or your opponent just flanks you and beastie knows that he he needs to go for it he knows his opponents are already in, in imperial age and he's gonna put a castle in the front it's gonna be the springle battle here looks like the archers will need to retreat Roller Charlie triggers already halfway there for Vortex, meaning he will have the siege advantage. But Beastie decides not gonna put it here. He's gonna put He's gonna put it here. He's gonna put it next to his landmark. The roller short triggers. Uh, is it gonna be finished? Six seconds. PC only once. Oh my god. He gets it. He gets the upgrade. Vortex gets the upgrade. And now Beastie. It's gonna go for Imperial Age. Most likely. There you go. The Spirit Way. Where is it? There you go. Is he gonna put that Great Wall House here? Beastie already having the walls here he's going for it he knows his opponent just has spent thousands of resources to go to imperial he cannot have such a good army it's impossible now nest of peace will focus look at the damage of the nest of peace focusing on the high armory this landmark pretty useless for now vortex will just mass at units one bombard in place beast is going all in look at the walls coming from beastie it's gonna start walling his opponent 
And Wallace coming from for politics. The first Wallace I've seen him in, in this tournament. I'm sure he had others, but I didn't see them. More walls. This is a walls game. And now, BC already with the foot. He just needs a little bit of gold. A little bit of gold to get the great wall gate cut. But be careful with this bombard. This bombard can really make things hard for Beastie. He can take down the landmark at any second if he decides to build it now. Like the bombard will still live. And the next of this, they're gonna get behind. Power goes down, next of this go out without any kind of vision. Will the madman throw the nest of beasts here in the gold? He sees it. And Vortex reacts on time. Vortex not letting his opponent put the Great Wall Gatehouse here. I mean, I'm sure this is why this... Uh, this wall is here, right? And not this Bombard. He knows he needs to focus on this wall. And it, the, the wall goes down, and with that, Be Beastie won't be able to build the Great Wall Great House. But now look at the map, Beastie gathering all the resources available in the map. He lost most of the water, but still managed to get the resources that he has available and without a farm, any single farm transition here. If those resources run out, Beast is gonna be in trouble. And looks like this keep is gonna go down. There's no one here to repair it. And the bombard's still alive. Looks like Vortex is slow but steady. Gonna be able to get out of this situation. Elite army tactics going for BST too. Now that's a big crossbow mass. 54 crossbows, 12 more in the queue. If there's something that can deal with those crossbows are the nest of peace. Where are the nest of peace? Take a look at the nest of peace. I don't see the nest of peace. There are somewhere. It must be somewhere. Are we gonna see fire lancers here? I, I think Beast is gonna do it. Beast is gonna go fire lancers. I love the soundtrack of this game, the Rules Imperial Age. Now this skip will get contested here. Villagers will try to repair it. BC knows that he cannot lose this skip. If this skip goes down, all his economy is exposed. There's no walls coming for BC here. It looks like he will just have to go for it. And the nest of beasts will come from the right side. Managed to get oh my god, that's a big shot here from the nest of beasts, but it's not enough to take down the army and and the sprinkles deal with the nest of beasts quite easy. That was gonna be huge if he managed to get four nest of beast shots there. And Bortic steps out. He knows he don't have the economy. And Beastie gets victorious in this third match. Of the best of nine series. Now look at the villager count when it comes to the economy. The Chinese are quite good at it. And look at this. This was a decisive battle for Portix, losing his military. He knows there is no way he can go back to the game. Take a look at the economy wood, wood, stone, gold, everything in favor of beasting.